Hey, so how's the war going for you guys? I can't wait to go back home and see my mom. <laughs> Cosma is by all accounts a Kevin fanboy. He talks in a cryptic and roundabout way, never gives a straight answer no matter the question, always resort to silent treatment as he calculates every possible choices like he's playing a dating sim. They may look like one of those Batman Robin type of relationship, which they kinda were for a time, but as you will soon learn in this video, many things will happen that would irreversibly strain their relationship, even though both of them greatly respected each other. Our story starts when a young Cosma tried jumping into a tornado because he was convinced it had a core he could destroy, thus preventing the disaster. Not only would this be highly dangerous for his well-being, he wouldn't have achieved anything as there was nothing in it to begin with, because this tornado was just spam from the Hershey of Wind, a concept that's unknown to a random civilian like Cosma. Luckily, he was saved by Kevin who gave him the rough idea of Honkai. And this is where their relationship begins. Cosma joined Morph and fought alongside him and his unit, where each of them will grow as a person. And if you know anything about what Kevin has become, a cynical bit, you can kinda guess what Cosma would become. It's a story of growing up, as at that point both were still the naive good guy hero type. But this being Honkai means that stuff goes downhill. The first event I want to talk about is the Ice Hersher. As when it appeared, they had such a hard time beating it that it demoralizes them into a full route. Luckily, they didn't really need to as Kelpass single-handedly defeated it for them. This was an important event because the guy who convinced them to run, Atto, Grisio's dad, probably a close mentor of Cosma, basically told them that their purpose was to be cannon fodders and how You say no, then you get out of it. This comes into play when Atto died with Kevin supposedly to blame. By this time, many Hershers have come and go, and sacrificing people has become a necessity just to beat them. Atto dying was the last draw for Cosma as he fumes over his death to such an extent he transforms into his beast form and attacks Kevin. Also leaving Morph on the spot, cutting ties with Kevin and running away. He already had his mantis power which was basically Kirby. Gaining power by eating stuff which can be seen predominantly with his horns, which may remark to look like a demon. Stuff in this case being Honkai. His powers are some of the more unstable ones as he can grow indefinitely, which he believed could be used to beat any flame chasers and even hold off Kevin for a while. They call his spirit animal he fused with Vishnu, which yes, is the same one Terry has. Him angrily transforming into his beast form resulting in him not being able to turn back and thus deciding to run away to become some urban legend horror story to any soul unfortunate enough to see him in the streets. Morph managed to track him down and cure him, finally allowing him to rejoin the Morph. Though his relationship with Kevin still remains tense, he kind of found his purpose by taking Guisio under his care after she lost her parents to Honkai. Well, setting aside some of his rather questionable statements, he really does treat Guisio like his own family. He kind of does a lot of things as remembrance for the people he cared about. Taking care of Guisio, holding onto his harmonica given to him by Dystopia, another minor character that likes to give people presents, which is something he also tried to mimic. As you can see, Cosma has got quite a baggage. This is gonna get worse. Both Kevin and Cosma had matured through their experience fighting the Honkai, becoming more calm and collected as a result, disillusioned with the world, and fixated on performing their duties. After all, one could say neither are living for the sake of themselves. For Kevin, it's taking his girlfriend's wish to take his fight against Honkai to the very end. But for Cosma, Things are a bit more complicated. For one, he was chosen for Project Arc as the space having cold temperatures would help him retain himself longer. Though that's the least of his concern because he had Grisio, which he will be effectively abandoning. This left him quite conflicted. Do note that traveling space was Cosmos' dream from when he was young, and it's heavily implied that Grisio boarded the Arc in his place, thus letting Cosma decide for himself for once what he wanted to do. He chose to accompany the moon mission to battle the final Hersher where he would perish, concluding his story. Overall, he's quite a minor character evident by the length of this video but nonetheless has an intrigue of his own. His story carries the meaning of his signet, daybreak, often compared to a beginning, a continuation, or growth. Not for Cosma himself, but for those he cared about, Atto, Dystopia, and most importantly, Grisio. He himself never had a chance to pursue his own dreams. But he can at least provide that for the others. But what do you think? Leave your thoughts about Cosma down below. And thank you for watching.